Hello there, my name is Veena Prashant. In this video, I'll take you behind the scenes to show you how you can create a pay what you want button or a donation button using a smart pay cart. Now smart pay cart is a shopping cart plugin for WordPress and it's made for DAP. Now DAP is a membership plugin for WordPress. If you use DAP, if you use SPC, it's really easy to create a pay what you want button to allow your users to pay whatever amount they want to pay for your product or service. Now pay what you want is a pricing strategy where your buyers can pay their desired amount for your product or service. You can set a minimum amount uh, for this. This way, your users will have to pay at least the minimum amount to get access to your product or service. They can pay more, but not less. So let me show you how you can set this up. Now it's really easy to set up a pay what you want button in SPC. It's a simple three-step process. Step number one, create your product in DAP. This could be a one-off product or a subscription product. This is the product to which your users will get access when they complete purchase. So set up your product in DAP first. Now step number two, you need to create a checkout page in SPC. This checkout page is different from regular checkout pages in SPC. When you create your checkout page for a donation button or a pay what you want button, in the type of checkout tab, you will have to select donation as the type of checkout. So you cannot use regular checkout pages for this. You need to select donation as the type of checkout when you create your checkout page. So create a different checkout page for pay what you want buttons. Step number three, create a pay what you want button in SPC. Now this button will allow users to pay whatever amount they want for your product or service. Now the pay what you want button is not the same as a buy now or add to cart button in SPC. So under the SPC buttons menu, select donation or pay what you want button and then create the button. Now, when you create the button, you can also specify the minimum amount that users must pay to get access to your product or service. So now let me take you behind the scenes to quickly show you how you can set this up using DAP and SPC. So step number one is to create your product in DAP and create your product just like any other regular product. This is the product to which your users will receive access when they sign up using the pay what you want button. Now, the product definition in DAP requires that you enter billing and access information. So you do need to enter product price and all the other details about the product, but the price that you enter here in the billing and access tab of your product, it doesn't matter for a pay what you want button because uh, users can enter whatever amount they want to pay in the front end. But you still need to enter the amount here because uh, without entering product price, you cannot complete product setup in DAP. All right, so create your product, specify if it's a one-off product or if it's a recurring subscription product. If it's a one-off product, you can enter the product price and access duration, how many days of access you want to give these users after they complete the purchase, enter the details here. And if it's a subscription product, you can specify the subscription settings, the billing cycle, the subscription price and all that. Again, the price that you enter here does not really matter because SPC will allow users to enter whatever amount they want to pay. Also, if it's a subscription product, then in the front end, on the checkout, if users want to pay on a recurring basis, they can check the box and say, yes, I want to pay this amount on a recurring basis. All right, so you can do that as well for your subscription products. So complete the product setup just like any other regular product. Set up your welcome email in the notifications tab. Set up your content that users will get access to when they uh, purchase your product in the content responder tab and all the regular stuff. Complete the product setup. Step number two is to create your checkout page in SPC. So go to SPC, manage checkout page, click on add new checkout, give your checkout page a name and click on create to create the checkout page. All right, so checkout page created successfully, click on next, payment options. Here I'm gonna select PayPal and Stripe. Next, type of checkout. So here you need to select donation or pay what you want as the checkout type. So I'm gonna select this. You can see there's one template for pay what you want. Select this template and click on customize. Here you can customize the setting. You can see there is a style customizer. So you can customize the look and feel of your uh, pay what you want checkout. And if you want to change the text, you can just click and edit, change the text to whatever you want it to say. You can see here this text, you can change this as well. All right, so it says pay what you want and uh, it will allow users to enter whatever amount they want to enter. And this option, this make this recurring option, it will only show up for subscription products and users can check this box if they want to make the payment on a recurring basis, all right? So customize your checkout and click on save. So checkout page is ready, but you can't really access checkout on its own. You need to create a payment button and connect the payment button 
to the checkout. All right. So moving on to step number three. Step number three is to create a donation or a pay what you want button. So click on pay what you want under the buttons menu. So I'm going to click on add new donation button. Now donation and pay what you want. They both work the same way. Follow the exact same process to create both types of buttons. You can give it any name you want and select a product. So I'm going to select this product donation details. So here you can first select the currency for payment uh, from the drop down. And then do you want to allow users to enter donation amount? So here you also have the option to set a fixed amount. But if not, you can say, yes, I want to allow users to pay what they want and enter minimum amount. All right. So whatever is the minimum amount that users must pay uh, to get access, you can enter that here. So on the checkout, if they enter an amount less than whatever you have set as the minimum amount, they cannot proceed. So they have to pay at least the minimum amount that you set here. So set the minimum amount and next select checkout. So here you need to select your donation checkout template. So you cannot select regular checkout pages here. Uh, so that's why you need to create your pay what you want checkout first, and then it will show up in the drop down and select that. All right. So this is the checkout next enter URL of landing page where do you want to send users after they complete the purchase. I'm just going to select this page next. Sales page, this is just for tracking purposes. So enter the sales page URL. I'm going to set this to sandbox for testing. And when the testing is complete, I'll switch it to live. So for testing purposes, I'm going to set this to sandbox, save settings. That's it, it's done. Now it's saying payment credentials not set up because I have not set up my live credentials. I have set up my sandbox credentials, but I have not set up live credentials in the settings page in SPC under payment settings. So that's fine. I'm going to test in sandbox anyway, so it's fine. So let me go to this page directly in a browser and show you how this looks. All right, so this is how it looks. So before I test this and show you how this works, I just want to show you the back end of my checkout page. So this is the checkout page and you can see here, SPC has inserted this short code right here on this page. So this is the default WordPress editor. But what I want to do now is I want to take this out of the default WordPress editor and I want to insert this in my page builder. I use Thrive Architect as my page builder. I want to insert the short code uh, in my page builder. This way I'll have more options uh, to customize the page and uh, create a nice look for my page. I don't want to use the default WordPress editor for my checkout. This is a Thrive Architect template and I have just inserted the short code here. So same page. I just removed the SPC checkout shortcode from the default editor and then used a template that comes with the page builder and I inserted the SPC checkout shortcode here. You can do this with whatever page builder you use and you can pick whatever template you like and just insert the shortcode wherever you want the checkout form to appear. So let me show you the front end now. So this is the front end. This is how it looks and uh, this is the checkout form. So this is the part that will appear wherever you insert the short code, all right? So let's go ahead and test it now. I'm going to enter 10 and I'll fill out the rest of the details here. So this buy button is in sandbox mode. So I'll just enter test credit card credentials to complete testing. Now I'm gonna click on pay what you want. All right, so purchase is complete and it sent me to the landing page that I had configured in the pay what you want button settings. That's it. All right, so now let's quickly test a subscription product. Pay what you want for a subscription product, all right? So I'm going to select the same product and I'm just going to change the payment type from one time fee to recurring and subscription setting same $10 every month and go ahead and save it. All right, so this is the front end. All I did was I changed the product from one off to a subscription product, no other changes to the button. But now in the front end, you can see the same button. It shows this option, make this recurring. So here users can enter whatever amount they want to pay. And if this box is checked, then uh, SPC will charge them uh, whatever amount they enter here each billing cycle. So that's how it will work. You can see here it says $10 for the first 30 days and $10 for each 30 days. But if I uncheck this box, then you can see here it just says $10. All right. So this is how easy it is to set up pay what you want buttons for your one off products for your subscription products using SPC and using DAP. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. My name is Veena Prashant. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.